Good morning, Pally. Today is Thursday, March 21st, 2024. I'm Vincent Wong. And I'm Neil Satevolu. Hey, Neil. Spring has just sprung. How are you feeling? I'm very excited because spring is actually my favorite season, so I'm looking forward to it a lot. I could say the same. The votes are in for last week's ASB elections. Congratulations ASB President Julian Hong and ASB Vice President Amani Fosati Moen and all elected officers for next year. Spring sports are in full swing. Later today, Pali Softball travels to San Jose to take on Lindbrook. Boys JV and Varsity Lacrosse host Mountain View and Cheer takes on Pioneer. Visit paliathletics.com for the full schedule of upcoming games. In honor of Neurodiversity Celebration Week, Neurodiversity Hooray, Dream Volunteers, and Pali Best Buddies are hosting a free lantern night this Saturday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come by the Magical Bridge Playground. There will be performances, speeches, music, crafts, and plenty of pizza, cookies, hot chocolate, and snacks. Next week, keep an eye out for spring spirit events such as Quadchella. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, stop by the quad during lunch to listen to Pali music acts and play spike ball. Bands and musicians interested in performing during Quadchella can sign up at the link on screen. The forum closes at 8 p.m. tonight. The Foster Museum is a new hidden treasure in Palo Alto. Every Palo Alto High School student should give it a visit, as it reconnects its visitors with the nature through its breathtaking watercolors that urge viewers to appreciate America's beautiful national parks. In Focus reporter Claire Antonow and Eliza Roth went to the Foster Museum to bring you exclusive look within the walls of the museum. Two blocks away from In-N-Out off of East Charleston Road hides a hidden gem of Palo Alto. The Foster Museum opened in 2016 and features the work of British artist explorer Tony Foster. Foster has gone on 17 watercolor expeditions over the past 40 years, where he has often backpacked or whitewater rafted to give us a taste of all the places many wish they could travel to. But as an artist who lives in England, how did his work end up in Palo Alto? One local patron became his biggest collector over time and felt a passion for keeping his journeys together as an art form because it's one whole artwork that's so much more powerful than seeing the individual paintings. More than just paintings, Foster's work represents what it felt like to actually be in the scenes of his watercolors. And then the diary notes that he incorporates and the different souvenirs or talismans, those are all to show kind of the sense of what it was like to be where he was. Despite the unique offerings of this museum, the Foster remains a hidden gem, as many Pali students and Palo Alto residents have never heard of it. I have not heard of the museum, no. 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 The Foster Museum? No. 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 I don't believe that is something that I've ever heard of before. No. I have not. No. No. Still, TripAdvisor has it ranked fourth for top attractions in Palo Alto, since the people who do visit it give it such high reviews. Beyond just visiting the museum, the Foster has a lot more to offer. Also, um, we do a full gamut of educational tours for students K through 12. So that's an open invitation for uh, not just uh, um, Palo Alto uh, High School, but all schools in our community um, to learn more about Tony Foster, his work, and, and hopefully be inspired uh, by just, you know, a, a beautiful museum. As busy high schoolers, spending time in nature is rarely a priority. The Foster Museum offers a space for visitors to celebrate nature and reminds us of the importance of keeping this planet alive. What can we each do to make a difference to uh, conserve our threatened um, beautiful places around the world? The Foster is free admission, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 4, and during the weekend from 12 to 4. Visit thefoster.org to book an appointment. If you need a break or just want something new to do in Palo Alto, the Foster Museum is, quote, an oasis in a hectic world. For In Focus News, I'm Claire Antineau, co-reporting with Ellie Roth. Thanks, Claire. That does it for today's show. Follow us on social media at In Focus News to engage with our content and visit our website to view today's campus bulletin. Until next time, I'm Vincent Wong. I'm Neil Sadiavolu, and this has been In Focus News. Have a stupendous day, Vikings.